Today I'm going to show you how to test the solenoid of your Irritrol sprinkler valve. And I'm going to show you exactly what the resistance number is supposed to be of this good Irritrol valve solenoid. That way you've got that number for reference and compare to when you're testing the solenoids of your sprinkler system. My name is Kelly Staggs and you're watching American Irrigator. Now if you've got a sprinkler valve that looks like this, this is an Irritrol and it says here it's the 205SF solenoid valve. So if you open up your valve box and you've got valves that look like this, the brand is Irritrol. So maybe you've got a valve that's not coming on and you want to go out there and test to see if the solenoid is good or not. I thought it'd be a good idea to show you how to test it, but also give you that exact number that it's supposed to be. That way you can tell real fast if this solenoid is good or not. So you'll have this video now and you'll have that number to always refer back to. When you open up your valve box and you see your valve there, the solenoid is going to be wired into the wire path. One's going to go into a power wire from the controller. The other one is going into a common. What you're going to have to do is go cut these wires that go to this solenoid that you're wanting to test, cut it out of those wires, cut the splices, and you'll just simply cut them. And that way now you've isolated this solenoid and you can test it. And after that, what I'll do, you want to strip back some good clean wire. And these wires are stranded, so I'll usually give it a little bit of a twist. That way it makes it a little bit more solid. And then I'm going to take my multimeter and I'm going to tie my leads onto this solenoid. Now it doesn't matter which wire goes to which lead, red or black. You can see these wires are both black. So take your red lead and clamp to one wire. Oh, and I love these that have the clamps on them. Makes it so much easier. Take your black, clamp to the other wire. Now on your multimeter, you're going to want to turn to the omega symbol. This is the symbol for ohms, and it's testing the resistance of all the wires coiled up in this sprinkler valve solenoid. A lot of other guys say that you're testing the continuity. Make sure those wires are not messed up or broken inside of there. And you can see right there, this Irritrol valve, this solenoid tests at 25, 25.6. This is the number that you want to see for a good solenoid on these Irritrol valves. If you've got something different than this, most likely it means that that solenoid is bad. Now let me show you a close-up view, that way you can see it a little bit closer. Now again, it doesn't matter which wire goes to which lead. Just take your red lead, clamp to one wire, and black lead, clamp to the other wire. Then you're going to go to your multimeter. You're going to switch over to the omega symbol. This is the symbol for ohms, and we're testing the resistance. You see that number right there? 25.6. If you're testing your Irritrol sprinkler valves to see if it's good or not, this is what you want to see. You want to have it somewhere around 25. And that lets you know that that solenoid is good or not. If you get anything other than this number right here, it probably means your solenoid is bad. This is the number you want to be looking for. Now you know how to test the solenoid of your Irritrol valves, and now you know what number it's supposed to be for a good solenoid. And again, if you get something different, means you're gonna to have to buy a new solenoid, replace it, wire it back in, then you should be good to go. Don't forget to subscribe and then watch this playlist right here for more irrigation repair tips.